Hey there, I'm Tesla and in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at disabling player input and then re-enabling it again. Ok, so I'm using the first person template and I've got a simple box trigger set up in the map. So let's come into the level blueprint and let's say when we enter this box trigger we'll not be able to move around or have any um, control or input over our character for 5 seconds. And then after 5 seconds we can control our character again. So we're going to add event, collision, begin overlap and we're going to grab a node now called Disable Input. So on this node we have a target input and a player controller input. So it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to grab the get player character for our target. And we're going to get the get player controller for the controller. It's pretty straightforward. So Let's delay this. Let's say we're going to delay it for 3 seconds actually. And then after 3 seconds, we will enable input. And we don't want it on the box trigger. I'm going to grab the player character and controller again. And just connect that up. So this is just showing how we can just disable that input for a very short amount of time. So I can't move now and I'm doing stuff. And now I can move again. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for checking it out. And make sure you stay subscribed. Cheers, guys.